This station stands for nothing. The worst talk radio I've ever heard in my life was on WOD. This is the most disgusting program. I urge everyone to complain to this station. Yes. TV has got a lady named Kathy Lee. Everybody thinks that she is squeaky clean. I'm gonna blow a cover now and be a fink. Kathy's just a snob that thinks her stuff don't stink. And now she says she's gonna up and leave her show. Well, baby, just pack up all your things and go, go, go. Go, Kathy, go, go. Don't do the show, no. Please go, Kathy, go, go. Just go, Kathy, go, just go. Cause you ain't that good. Cause she says the television is a big wasteland. Well, stop talking about your kids and your dumb husband. Don't tell me old Frank is a love machine. You say that one more time and babe, I'm gonna scream. On Monday night football, he's as good as dead. There ain't much going on in little Frankie's head. Go, go. Go, Kathy, go, go. Let's reach to the show, you no. Know. Just go, Kathy, go, go. Go, Kathy, go, go. Nobody that good. Eleven oh six at WYOT. We're only twenty four minutes away from D Day, baby. I'll guarantee you, everybody in the business is gathered around their radio right now. They got the speaker cranked up so loud that it's just about giving them those goddamn good vibrations that they're not getting from their drugs this morning. Because all the booze and all the pills won't do it on ratings day. Okay, we got to crank the radio up and wait for Neil to give those numbers out. Oh man, it's gonna be ugly. It's gonna be a disaster. It's gonna be uh, incredible, and Neil won't like it. That's what our PD says. If it's not good, it's because Neil don't like it. Here's Cooper City. Hello. You son of a bitch. No, oh, that's good. That's worth waiting 45 minutes on there for. That was really good, pal. That's that asshole again. Two open lines in Broward. Five. Here's the guy. Here's a, I, want, I want you to stop and think about this. Here's a Julio up there, wherever the hell he is, who listens to the show every single day, who has no, evidently no life, nothing to do. And so his idea of calling the show is either to start calling and swearing and carrying on or to repeat some little line like a little uh, Julio Parakeet uh, because he's got not an original idea in his mind. So thank God. I deserve like 50 bucks. Oh, and the mail just started coming in, by the way. Just went through our first batch of mail today. And guess how many checks we got? Oh! That's it. Zero. zippity doo nada You would have thought yesterday after my impassioned plea that they would be running out rushing out to get their checkbook and popping those $20 checks in the mail to get us over our $150,000 total for Center One and say thank you so much, Neil. We love you, and certainly your show is worth a dollar a year for 20 years. A buck a year, that's a pretty good deal. Two open lines at Broward, 524-9463. Two on the green lines, 1-800-944-WIOD. Here's Miami Beach. Hello. Hello, Miami Beach. Yes, sir. Okay, speaking, hey, God bless those customs agents. But uh, I think you should get a big bump in salary just because you can speak English. Yeah. But that's uh, another thing. So well, you start with the bilingual thing here already, sir? Is that what you want to start about? I heard Rick talking about that. You want to start uh, hocking a China with this bilingual business, which is the only kind of thing people want to talk about in this town? Now let's go back to the traveling. Yeah. Okay. This is the place not to visit, unless you already live here and you don't have a choice but to visit it t uh, all the time. But uh, as far as a uh, bubbling over toilet, this could be it. We have an open line in Dade, 751-WIOD. We got two in Broward, 524-9463. And two on the green lines, 1-800-944. Oh, God, it's bad. Hi, are you afraid of going to hell and burning forever? Are you afraid that you've committed too many sins and that you will be turned away from the face of God? I'm not. If you listen to The Phil Hendry Show... Five days a week, 2 to 6 in the afternoon on 610 WIOD. It won't happen. Bill Hendry, 2 to 6 p.m. on News, Talk, and Entertainment Radio, 610 WIOD. I know that the Lord even loves Neil Rogers. You son of a bitch. 1116 at WIOD. I'm just reading in Kings, you see, because I haven't read this crap in many, many years, and it's just, you don't know whether to laugh or cry when you read this stuff. A wise ruling about the two prostitutes who came to the king. Did you read that? Have you ever read that thing about the two hookers? I mean... So anyway, it just there seems to be an awful lot of begetting and begotting and prostitution and all this other, and of course, uh, uh, the uh, pillar of salt and all this stuff, and Sodom and Gomorrah and uh, the Schnorr. And let's do the handmaiden. Yeah, well, you first. Okay. Here's Plantation. Hello. Hello, Neil. Yes, sir. 
Listen, uh, I was in the bathroom and I was taking a crap and I was wiping my ass and I decided to call. We have an open line in Broward, 524-9463, and one on the uh, green line, 1-800-944. Here's Fort Lauderdale on the purple line. Hello. Hey, Neil. Yes, sir. How you doing? Okay. I was just wondering if anybody told you about sports talk on Monday night. About what? They actually had Doug McClain on. Yeah. Did you know that? No, I did not. It was a shocker to turn the radio on to sports talk and not hear football. Well, that's funny because I was uh, driving out of the game last night. And I was listening to Hank and Defoe switching back and forth, hoping to hear something about hockey, and I did not. I kept hearing about basketball and football and about this Hernandez kid. Now we ought, ought to have all Cuban players on the uh, Marlins and uh, nothing about the hockey game that was coming up that I was on my way to see. It was like uh, between 6 and 6.30, Mandich and uh, Jeff were ha- they were having a phone interview with him. Yeah. Pretty good. It was what? a nice change. Uh huh. All right, Neil. See you later. And what did What did Mandich have to say to uh, Doug McClain? Uh, he asked him a couple good questions about uh, the players and what's happening, and uh, you know how being on a long road trip like that, and you know coming back and all that. It was pretty good. Let me ask you, how many games have Mandich and uh, Defo seen this season? Don't know. Uh huh. Do you <laughs> want the answer? Uh, oh. That's what I was going to get. Oh! That's it. See you okay, now. thanks for the good news. See, it's good to have the coach on and start at least giving a little, uh, you know, plug for hockey. And the fact we had the game last night, that's good. But if you would actually go see a game and have some idea what it's all about, then you're starting to move in the right direction, as opposed to that uh, little numbnuts over there on QAM who in the morning, you know, goes to the game and sits up in the skybox up there with his buddies and schmoozes with everybody while the game is going on and comes on here the next day to tell us what a great game Eddie Jovanovski played, who gave the puck away about three times, including a breakaway and nearly, uh, you know, and was also out there on the ice, by the way, in the last 30 seconds while the Beezer got screwed out of his shutout and did not play really that well last night. But, hey, we got some knowledgeable people down here. I wonder what, the, what does it say in uh, Chronicles about uh, the hockey game? Here's Palm Springs North. Hello. Hello, Neil. Yes, sir. Did you uh, happen to uh, listen to, that, to the show last night with Phil and Reverend Paul? Yes, I did. I heard it on the way to the game. Uh, that guy was incredible. What guy? Uh, Reverend Paul, wasn't he? Yeah. I mean, he acted like he was some kind of a god. Reverend Paul? Yes. And I just can't believe they could have someone on the show like so that. So, in other words, you believe there is such a person as Reverend Paul. Is that what you're saying, me? You're as dumb as those people that were calling well, in and getting all upset Paul, about what he was saying? In name. other words, you believe there is such a person as that man that was you heard the voice you heard on the phone. Is that what you're telling me? The guy that was on the station last night? The guy that was on with Phil last night. You believe the one that started uh, hiccuping and uh, crying and uh, boozing and whatever else he was doing? You believe that there is such a person. Is that what you're saying, sir? No, the guy that was talking, the pastor. The pastor? Yes. I think you ought to see greener pastures, pal, because you're a moron. How do you like that? All I had to do was start reading a little from the Bible here, and he's talking about this pasture that was on with Phil last night, huh? The pasture. This guy's grazing for information is what he's doing. Oh, Phil Henry, I'll tell you one thing, my friend, my genius of a friend, which he is. We'll never run out of material in this town. They manufacture morons. They got a plant somewhere. They got a gigantic plant in Sweetwater, and they, it's like stamping out goddamn uh, pennies at the mint, at the U.S. Mint. They just stamp them out by the million. Morons. Idiots. Oh, God almighty, help us, please. Somebody, somebody throw us that rubber raft before it's too late. He's upset about the pasture that was on last night, saying all those things. Incredible. Incredibly. News, talk, and entertainment radio, 610 WIOD. I killed Nicole. Here's uh, unacceptable sacrifices, by the way, from Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses, speak to Aaron and his sons and to all the Israelites and say to them, now I want you to follow this because a lot of you aren't uh, paying any attention, okay? If any of you, either an Israelite or an alien living in Israel, is that illegal alien? Presents a gift for a burnt offering to the Lord, either to fulfill a vow or as a, as, or as a free will offering, you must present a male without defect from the cattle, sheep, or goats in order that it may be accepted on your behalf. Now I understand where uh, the people in Lutz have been reading their Bible. That's why they're so close with their sheep and their goats and their cattle. Do not bring anything with a defect because it will not be accepted on your behalf. When any offering to the Lord to fulfill a special vow or, 
This is the best part. Or as a free will offering, it must be without defect or blemish as to be acceptable. Do not offer to the Lord the blind, the injured, or the maimed, or anything with warts or festering or running sores. I guess that leaves wart man out. Nothing with warts or running sores. The war and even if you bring him like uh, like a little hunchback, it has to be the most perfect hunchback that you can find. And a male. Oh, and a male, of course, because we don't want to sacrifice no women or children. Well, that comes later. Here's uh, Miami. Hello. Hey, Neil. Yes, sir. What's up, man? I'm a new listener. You know, I mean, I listened to Phil for like a year, but you know, I'm I'm just home early this week, so I've been listening to you. You're great, man. Yes, I am. Yeah, I'm a good Jewish boy, you know, just like you, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Boy! <laughs> well, at least this guy is clean anyway. He's circumcised, George. He's not walking around with his own cheese. Right, He's not walking right. around with his Blemish own cheese scars. factory. Even the Lord in here says uh, he tells Emotionally Abraham, scarred. cut off that disgusting uh, elephant trunk. <laughs> Neil, I wanted to ask you something. That was about a deal for land. Yes, sir. I wanted to ask you something about the Atkins diet. All right? Yeah. Just a question. Do you have to read that whole goddamn book? No. You don't? Just read pages 79 and 80 is the best uh, deal. Oh, that, that's what I'll do. I want to ask you one more but question. But I'm going to say it again. Anybody that doesn't talk to a doctor that's got, like, any kind of a problem, that, that woman that sent me that pathetic fax, uh, you know, I'm, you're... I'm a, I'm a strong, healthy, you know, okay. 18-year-old male. Whatever you say. Well, come on over then. <laughs> oh, you know that the thing you've been saying about those checks? That yeah. Everybody, what are those for? The checks. What are they for? Is that for Center One? That's right. Oh, uh, okay, because I bought Phil's CD yesterday. Right. And, you know, I just I thought it was a little expensive, you know, but I didn't know it was for a good it's cause. for charity. Oh, okay, well, then then I'm glad. In fact, Phil's, at 20 bucks, Phil's CD is like the greatest bargain in history. That's true. It's so funny. I listened to it last night. Of course, I noticed you didn't buy mine, though. I, I'm going to buy... I'm gonna no, no, that's okay. Hey, I don't no, no, take those no. things personally. I'm Phil's is uh, today, the best. It's hysterical. It's, it's funny. I, I have your tape from last year. Oh, I see. Okay. And that, that's funny. I that's got that good. from a friend. Yeah. And I'm going to go buy yours. Please. CD today. Do it today. Well, you got you got all this time on your hands. And go buy I got buy. all this cash, you know. All right. <laughs> and happy Purim to you, pal. Bye-bye. Have a great life. Bye. Andy's walking around here with a real <clears throat> psychotic look on his face. We have an open line date. Are they coming down yet? Are they downloading or what? I haven't seen anything yet. Haven't seen them yet, but those numbers... Oh, well, let's start reading from numbers. Thank God Phil left his Bible. I still got my Bar Mitzvah Bible somewhere in the house. I'm going to dig that thing up. And inside that Bible, I told this to Phil yesterday, and it's a true story. Inside the Bible, I have saved for, let's see, how many years Fortune? is it? Um, 16 years now. 1980. Dick Casper, the general manager at WNWS, received a letter from Archbishop McCarthy of the Miami Catholic Archdiocese, who beseeched him not to renew Neil Rogers' contract because he is so sacrilegious and disgusting and vile and vulgar, etc., and so on, at which point we signed a new deal. How do you like that? Here's the Archbishop of Miami trying to bring pressure on my boss. Don't rehire him because he knocks the church and what he tells is too painful because it's true. In addition to which, a lot of these closeted priests are getting real nervous. And it's muscling in on their time and their action. So I think I'm going to have to dig out my own personal Bible. Because I got like... See, one thing I did do, I didn't uh, tear that one up, but I have a lot of stuff marked in there in ink. Like different, really interesting passages, so I don't have to waste my time like I am today going through this kind of pristine look in the Bible. Nice one that fills God. Here's Dania Beach. Hello. Hey. Yes, sir. How you doing, man? Okay, sir. I think that, well, I don't think, but who do you think between Shane Thomas and Joe Zagaki, who has a tighter vagina? We have an open line in uh, Broward, 524-9463, 524-WYD. Something we'll probably have to think about for a while. Here's Fort Lauderdale. Hello. Can't hear you. Neil. Can't hear you at all. Neil. Yes? Can you hear me now? Yes. All right. Listen, I got a little report on the, on the beautiful traffic down here. Can you hear me? Not good. I don't know. I'm at a, I'm at a hospital payphone. Oh, pay, a hospital payphone. <laughs> Take it into uh, intensive care immediately, pal. It needs surgery. Actually, I'm going to be going up there soon. Yeah. Um, listen, I'm, so I'm down in the hospital in North Broward. I'm behind the car. This old lady gets out. They're wheeling, I guess, her husband in a wheelchair towards the car. She walks around and opens up the passenger door. Did I put him in the passenger side? No. He gets up out of the Can't window. Can't understand a word you're saying. There's another good... Sorry, I had to cut you off, pal, but I'm sure you had a great story. Well, maybe not. But uh, can't understand a freaking word you're saying. Another payphone. Like I said, there's one of the biggest scams going. Is anybody going to do anything about it? No. Put your quarter in now. That'll give you about 30 seconds worth of conversation. Then the, I'm sorry, but your, your quarter, you know, the operator comes out with that stupid message. You've got to keep popping quarters in there. Like going to the goddamn video arcade, and you're about halfway through the movie. Oh, oh, sorry, no more change. And all of a sudden, you don't even feel the change no more. You know what I'm saying? 
Let's go to a mobile in Coral Springs. Hello. Hi, Neil. Can yes, you hear sir. Me? Hear you loud Hi. and clear. Hi, Neil. This is Mike, uh, your buddy from the hockey games, uh, a few rows below you there. Yeah. Uh, I just I didn't know if you addressed this issue. I just turned you on this morning, but uh, I just want to say the worst part about what I feel is a lack of fan support and enthusiasm over the Panthers. It, it, the worst part about it, in three months when they're in the playoffs, you're going to see all these jackasses jumping on the bandwagon. Right. And, and you might even see clowns like Mandich and Defoe and some of these other sports guys who never have been in three years to one single game. All of a sudden, they'll be starting to show up because they're going to be covering the playoffs, and they'll right. pretend like they know something about it and like they really care. And they're going to be experts on it, too. And maybe even Fat Hank. Anyways, just wanted to throw in my two bits. Have a good day. Okay. All right, bye-bye. We have an open line in Broward, 524-9463-524. But the people there are very set in their ways. They're recalcitrant. They don't like trying new things. They're not even into, like, uh, Prego spaghetti sauce because they don't like trying new things, okay? They like that uh, generic stuff that comes out of a big can. Here's West Palm Beach. Hello. Hey, Neil. Yes, sir. What's happening there? Not much. Good. I was at the game last night. Yeah. Strong game, but he shouldn't have gave that one up. At the end? He shouldn't have gave that one up? The goal, the last one? How about the fact the team shouldn't have been standing around like they were in a coma the last minute and a half and blowing a shutout for him? How about that? That's true. It's happened many of times. They stood around there, and I, I kept saying, what is going on here? They're going to yeah. blow the shutout. You could smell it coming from a mile away. Sure could. Hey, listen, I'm based on the arena, right? If the chances were they ever built this one out in Sunrise, yeah. which I don't think they ever will. Probably not. The attendance would skyrocket, skyrocket basically, for Maybe. the fact Maybe. Yeah, that the arena, the Miami, that's Skid Row. No well, kidding. You just you discovered know? that? Oh. Is that a bulletin? <laughs> the arena's not in a good neighborhood, folks. We just had a call about it. He said it's Skid Row. <laughs> you but just anyway, discovered uh, that. Listen, we're going, uh, I think we're going all, all the way to the playoffs. I'd say. I would, you're going to the playoffs, you're predicting that like that's so you're going out on a limb? No, I We got go 60 out. points already. <laughs> we got 60 points. 83 or 4 will make the playoffs. We can lay down and close our eyes and make the playoffs now. Yeah, but just like that last guy said, come time to playoffs, everyone's going to be All the phonies on. will be out there. Yeah. All the real big fans waiting to jump on the bandwagon. Even Manwich and your other friends. Yeah, they'll all be there. Even Fat Hank will be there looking for a free, for a free Manwich or sandwich. Yeah, for a free hot dog. Exactly. All right, Neil. See ya. See ya. He'll be looking for a free weenie. Well, maybe, so, where's the numbers? What is she shaking her head for? Not yet. Not yet what? It's 11.33 in the Eastern Time Zone, sweetheart. They were supposed to be coming down at 11.30. That's it. Go look. Come on. I know you didn't have a stressful drive to work this morning. You should be in a good mood. You're going to get some pretty soon. If you pay me enough to shut me up. Look at the smile on her face. Oh, she met a wonderful guy. A goy, guy. Yeah, try a goy this time, will you? Those Jews will kill you. Especially the ones that are, well, I don't want to talk about the engineer like that. We have an open line in the uh, purple line, Pound IOD. We have one on the uh, green line in Palm Beach, 1-800-944-9463. Where are those numbers, boy? They're sure dragging us out. I know a lot of you out there think I'm holding back. I'm not. I mean, take your Pepto-Bismol right now and also get the uh, Maalox ready and get your goddamn little squeeze bag. It's going to be a real nervous time. I know that the people over at Waxy are listening, my friend Mike Ranieri and Henry Barrow and Roger Magdalene and uh, Ron Harrison and all those goyim. And uh, people from uh, Lightbulb, probably Norm Kent, who fancies himself as a broadcaster, which he is not. He's listening right now. And uh, everybody else. Because, see, at the other stations, generally speaking, they don't tell them what's going on, especially stations that can't afford to subscribe to Arbitron and don't even have the book. So they don't really get too much information, although or maybe they get it out of the newspaper like a day or two later. I wonder how Melissa Ruggieri and that other bitch, how they're doing right now. Maybe Debbie Wilker write another column on the radio if Howard breaks the five this time. So, uh, see, it's, it's not just me. Howard's lost touch with his audience, and Rick and Suds have lost touch with theirs, and I'm losing touch with mine, which I'm looking for it right now. And Phil has certainly lost touch with his, being the heathen bastard that he is. Although we do know that he has a deep abiding faith in the Lord and Christ. Remember the, guy, the day the guy called and told him that? In fact, that was on the voicemail. The fact that uh, being a, a real Catholic, the way that Phil is, he has a great uh, faith in... Oh, Jesus. Seriously, if you could sell stupidity by the ounce, you could sell this town for like a trillion dollars. Here's South Miami. Hello. Hello, Neil. Yes, sir. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good, wasn't it? And he won't be on the air again. Ever, ever, ever again. 
because you know there reaches a point when you get you just don't have uh, anything else to do in your life that finally there has to be some way to discourage it like just dump it out when in doubt dump it out because we're tired of your pal you're a jerk you're a schmuck you are an asshole we have an open line on the green line, 1-800-944-9463, 1-800-944-WIOD. Did I mention we're over 138 grand for Center One now? That total is creeping up. We keep finding like little checks on the floor, on the ground, a little over here, a little over there. 138,042 bucks. We still have like 14 days, which is two weeks to go, to get to our, to uh, our goal of 150 grand. I'm pretty sure we can do it now. And of course, those $20 checks for Center One that you're going to send in to me, I bet you that mail bag is going to be loaded, baby. Thank you for 20 incredible years on the year in Miami. Here's a dollar a year, $20 for that great charity center one, just to say thank you, Neil. I bet you those checks to WIOD Miami 33141 are going to be pouring in here every single day from Natalie into the Hanero. You think so? No? Here's uh, a Jamaica lady. Hello? Wait a minute. Where the hell is she? Hello? I call my mom. She I'm... can't hear me. Can I call her? I beg your pardon? My mom can't hear me. Can I call her? What do you mean she can't hear you? I have to get her. She's on the patio. She's what? On the patio. She's on the potty? Patio. Is this a potty line? <laughs> or are you a potty mom? I'm a Jamaican person, man. Ivy. Ivy. Yeah, man. What? I said, yeah. Well, what do you mean you got to call your mom? For what? Does she want to talk to me? Or, you said or... me want to talk to her. What is it? You said No, me. I don't want to talk to her. Oh, look at the look on her face. I didn't say oh, she, did you look at him? Do you looked at it? Yeah. Well, Cheryl's smirking, which can mean one of them. Well, these are 35 to 64. We're starting out with the, oh, look at that. We got a little nudge. We got a little nudge here. We got a little nudge. We got a little, huh? I knew it would come back around. No, you did not. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Hey, we could only go up. Based on what? The tremendous response we've had on the phone lately? Based on we couldn't go down. We couldn't go down? We couldn't go down any? With this guy at the helm here, we couldn't go down? I can't even find the damn thing. So 35 to 64, Radio Romance. It's another spick book here. 7.8, Radio Romance is numero uno. I mean, they're, they're so far ahead of the rest of the pack, baby, the rest of us might start taking Spanish lessons. Buenos dias, amigos. Como esta? Happy ojo de ano. Life is second, 5.3. Hot is third, a third, 5.0. Oh! These are 35 to 64. In other words, these are... Uh, W A M R. What is that? I don't even. I don't even know what that is. Do you know what that is? W A M R F M. Huh? Oh, it says. Oh, that used to be w Super Q. That used to be Q B A F M. Now it's W A M R F M, and they went up from a three six to a four nine. They're like number four. They're like hovering right under their hot. So, in other words, of the first four stations so far, three of them are ethnic, and the other one is slush for dead people. Life. Now, of course, this is 35 to 64. Number five is Magic with a 4.9. About Static, they had a 5, now they're a 4.9. Well, let's start looking at the And WIOD went from a 3.9 to a 4.2. Oh! Uh-oh, 35, so we got more old people. Let's start doing topics again. We've lost touch with our younger audience. Let's start doing the topics. Oh, Rick Riley, you're out there listening right now, aren't you, Rick? Hang on tight. I think their bonus is based on 35 to 64, if I'm not mistaken. Hallelujah. Oh, happy day. There is a God in spite of what I've been saying. Oh! From a 3.8 to a 4.3. All the way up to number uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Number 5. Just just behind. Uh, oh, look at that. Q- I, what, what is AMR? Did they also change format? QBAFM? Or is it still? It can't be Super Q because they took the Q out. What is their form- floor mat? We don't know. We'll find out. They got a 6.9. They must be doing something heavy duty because they used to do crap. And now they're like uh, rocking and rolling, amigos. Radio Romance is right tied with them, number one in the morning, 6.9. Radio Mambi uh, is, look at that, we've got all SPIC stations on here, and then right behind them is EDR. So of the non-ethnic stations, 835-64, Rick and Suds are number one. Oh! For the 4.3, 35 to 64. Howard's down there with a 3.3. Of course, uh, you know, what can I say? How about midday? Do we dare take a look at this? Uh-oh. From a 5.2 to a 5.8. Oh! We got lots of old farts out there. Let's start being nice to the old people, okay? We love you folks, you know? Just because you got a colostomy bag and you're walking around with a walker and you're out there driving 10 miles an hour, we love you. (laughs) Radio Romance with a 7.7 and Life with a 7.1 are the only ones that beat us out. We're all the way up to number three with four bullets in 35 to 64, followed by The Coast. Followed by Radio AMR. Uh, we, somebody, some spick, please call us Sweet, in and tell us. Two. What is it? Line two. Important information. Okay, hello. Neil. Yes, sir. Hey, AMR is doing the same thing as uh, 
Radio Romance. Radio, so we got two Radio Romances, and they're both kicking ass. Listen. Uh, Are they playing Luis Miguel? Uh, God only knows. Oh. Uh, 13 non-Hispanic L.A. stations uh, headed by KLOS are taking Arbitron to task for oversampling the Spanish format stations. Oh, oh. all right. And you yeah. know something? If the management in this market had any balls, they would do the same thing. So uh, that uh, look in your January 22nd RBR. Okay. Not on facts yesterday. Thanks. Later. Okay, there's a radio guy. Closet radio guy. So, okay, let's see. How about Phil Henry? I bet you... No, is, where's Andy? Is Andy? Andy's on the floor. Andy is... Uh, he says Phil goes to pieces with these numbers. Andy is hyperventilating and making gurgling sounds. Well, Phil had a little uh, increase there from a 3.4 to a 3.8. Oh! oh! But we got uh, Radio Romance is the number one in the afternoon. And then uh, Life and Hot and The Magic and Coast and T uh, TM TMI. Oh, Scott Schwartz, what a god. With a 4.7 in the afternoon. They're all listening to classes. They're listening to Beethoven and Bach. Can you believe that? And then WXDJ. What, what is that? That's, um, that's R Russell Oasis. is another one of his pieces of crap. Isn't that, isn't that uh, also Espanol? I, I think. And then Kiss. Oh, Kiss. Now, what about QAM? Where the hell are they doing 3564? I haven't seen WQAM anywhere here. Are they still on the air or what? Oh, one eight down to a one point six. They're dropping. How can they afford to drop any more? My God, they're going to owe points. And what about Ranieri? Now this is more Mike's demographic. Let's see how about Waxy because they begged me. Please give us our numbers. I would if you had one, but I don't. Uh... All right, let's go to. Come on, it's got to be on here somewhere. FTL in the morning. Norm Kent a zero. Uh, he's got a oh point five. Nice number there, Normie. And this is your. No, I'm sorry. This is thirty five to sixty four. We don't have the death plus ten uh, demo yet. I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, he's got a oh! point nine down from a 1.1. But he don't care. He's making some money. Good luck to you guys, okay? Congratulations for getting out of here. And how about the sex bitch at night? 35 to 64 is too old for... How about the weekend? Ooh, the weekend ought to be real interesting now. Let's take a look at the weekend numbers. The weekends are deadly on WIOD, where we must have gone through the roof. I can't find us. Well, let's, let's try the night at first, okay? She went from a 3.8 to a 2.9 at night. Well, that's these old farts. They don't want to hear about sex because they can't do it anymore. They get depressed. How about the weekend? Okay, we're not on the first page. Oh, we got a 2.8. That's with the Dolphins. That's with a whole fall book of the Dolphins. We went from a 2.5 to a 2.8. So I guess the PD is safe for another book. God damn it. It's 11. But where's the rest? See, give me this one thing. Where's the rest of the stuff? Come on, Cheryl. She brings me the one demo that we probably did good, and the rest of the stuff they just dropped in the toilet and somebody accidentally flushed it. News Talk and Entertainment Radio, 610 WIOD. Okay, 1155 at WIOD. What the hell is wrong with the sex bitch at night? I'm actually a lesbian. Well, that could be a problem because uh, she's the only one. She went down. Yeah, there he is, uh, but his arms up in the air. We got a kiss. We went up. We had a, a book. How, but I don't see no 25 to 54 yet. Did those go up too? Will you open up that thing, twerp, and let, uh, let's hear the, what the other twerp's got to say. Did they go up? Is that it? It's open. That's it. Talk. You're huge. No, I'm not. You want to see? You'll, you'll change no, your tune real you fast, are. sweetheart. W what do you mean? We had a good uh, 25 Excellent. to 54? All right. Oh, jeez, oh, man. I'll tell you. How much did we pay the guys off this time, huh? You just know this is bogus. Like I said, we knew we were making a big comeback. We were out here taking office pools up and everything, and everybody said, in fact, Phil already called in sick. And now he just said he started feeling better. 12 plus, we had a nice... If Rick is listening, put away the mill town. Oh! Your job is safe, Bob just said, for another month. Okay, 6 to 10 in the a.m. Look at that. WIOD, 12 plus. Uh, Rick and Suds went from a 2.7 to a 3.3. Look at Andy with a big smile on his face. Oh! We finally got a kiss, okay? We got some wired diaries in here we made out. All right. Now we're having a party, okay? Now, who's uh, doing it in the morning, 12 o'clock? Let's see. Howard must have gone. Uh, Howard went back up from a 3.5 to a 4.0. Oh! So that'll be a big story. That'll be something to uh, write about, huh? Although it's not the 4.4 he had during the summer. And during the midday here, uh, 12 plus, from 10 to 3, from a 4.8 to a 5.1. Oh! Which means between 10 and 2, we're doing like almost a six year here, 12 plus, which is number three in the market with a 5.1, and which is right on the heels of life and a radio romance. We can't compete with a slush station, and we certainly can't compete with a spick station, but other than that, we're like kicking everybody's ass. All right. Even though we've lost, we've lost t touch and contact with the audience on this show. How do you like that? Phil Henry from a 2.8 to a 3.1. Oh! 12 plus. 
But the sex bitch, what the hell is the problem with that uh, broad at night? I'm actually a lesbian. She went from a 2.8 to a 2.4. Air via demo I've seen so far here, she went down. She's got it down. And on the weekend, man, I bet you 12 plus with the dolphins in there, we went through the goddamn roof, didn't we? We went through, uh, huh? We didn't? From a 2.0 to a 2.0 flat. With the Dolphins, 12 plus. With the Dolphins on a weekend, we still got a two. Those weekends need some help, okay? 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., we got it licked, okay? We're doing okay. As long as we can keep Gilbert off the air. But other than that, man, the uh, nighttime and the weekend need some serious, serious help. Wait till Jennifer starts doing that show on Sunday night. The Neil Will Like It show. Although that show you did that Saturday, Jennifer, about the... Uh... Well, anyway, that's another story. We forgive you for that. That wasn't your fault. That was somebody else's idea, right? She said, yes, it was definitely not my idea, and I'm embarrassed by it and humiliated, and will definitely promise never to do it again. Promise? Oh, you know why the weekend stayed flat? Because the smoke this show started too late to be included in here. Wait till that thing starts factoring in, baby. We're going to go through the goddamn roof. Oh, oh, smoke it. Then we'll be smoking. Now, how come I'm still waiting for the 25 to 54, which Bob Green says I was huge? Even though I've lost touch with the audience out there, we've lost contact with the audience. Wait till you see those numbers in the toilet. Boy, did I suck that guy in, huh? We're sitting here crying the blues. We know we're in the toilet, but the numbers are accurate. They're all that counts, except there's too many Julios with diaries out there getting five bucks for an ethnic diary and too many black people, too. Like I said, our Julios, if they would be honest and put down that they're listening to this station and especially this show, we'd have a 15 share. If they'd stop lying through their teeth, guess what? We'll tell Mama Sita and Papa Sita that you really are straight. You just, uh, you know, got confused. It was just a little bit of confusion, okay? You're not a bunch of fags just because you listen to the show, okay? No modicons in your family. That's what Steve Ziegler just said. He said, straighten out all those spicks. I'm working on it, Steve. But anyway, so we like, uh, don't worry about what it's all about. I mean, uh, you should be upset enough that I said that Larry Zeiger was Larry Ziegler. You should be still pissed off about that. That was, the, that was the worst shot. I could say anything. Nothing would be a low blow like that. I'll tell you one thing. I could say that this man just stole $2 million from Cox Broadcasting, and that wouldn't even be as bad of a shot. No. Still the only radio station that doesn't suck. So Larry, what's up, huh? Miami, Fort Lauderdale. News, talk, and entertainment radio. 610 W-I-O-D. It pays to be by. Good afternoon at 12 o'clock. This is Jennifer Wren. News, talk, and entertainment radio. 610 W-I-O-D. Right now, 76 degrees. Next news update, 1 o'clock. Bulletins at once. I'm Jennifer Rim, News Talk and Entertainment, Radio 610, WIOD. Okay, you know, I hate to do this, Jennifer, but this Cheryl just came in here. I'm going to tell the whole real story about what happened this weekend because you're holding back on the 25 to 54s, which you know is the only one that we care about, George and I. Look at 18 to 34. We got through the roof like FM numbers. We got a 5 point oh. between 10 and 3. A 5 point oh. 18 to 34. That's like an FM number. How do you like that? Go and tell that story because anything that you're going to say, you're just making up. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Right. What was its name? Dennis. Dennis? Huh? Not my Dennis. Not Dennis from the hockey game. Now, he wouldn't touch you, sweetheart. No. Too young for you. Just right for me. Touch her before he'll touch you. Want to bet? Yeah. He don't show up here with his knees bare like he does at the hockey games. If he ain't touching anybody tickets. except his uh, lovely girlfriend, okay? Don't start messing on Dennis's uh, life. 25 to 44. How's that uh, Toys for Goyam show doing? On oh, sorry, Stephen. Oh, look at that. Zero. No, it's just a joke. Just a little joke. And now you know that he's made the big time now that Davey Gravy Line is going head-to-head -head with him on the light bulb. Did you know that? You've really got a tough competitor there. The li How'd the light bulb do, by the way? By the way, those of you on the phone, just uh, relax, okay? I'll get to you one of these days. We're having a party here. Everybody is so goddamn excited. We finally got a kiss. We got some wired books here. I mean, we did great. The PD says, see, it's those goddamn promos. 25 to, 40, uh, to a 44. Now, let's see. Howard must have a 75 share. 6.9. Same as the summer book. Good, but not... Uh, he's behind Hot, and he's behind uh, Radio AMR. Uh, what, what is that? What do they call that? Whammer Radio? Just what we need is another slush spick station in this town. We got... Uh, Tanner was consulting that station? Yeah. Tanner. Oh, let's see how they do in the real young demographics. Oh, sorry, Bill. Just a joke. It's just a little joke for crying out loud. God. Oh, look at that. Teens, they're big. And uh, preteen, prepubescent. Come on, Tanner. Come back to town, man. We miss you, sweetheart. And so do all those guys. So anyway, big with a 6.9. And um, 
in the morning, 25 to 44. What And uh, Rick and Sud, 3.1. Uh-oh. 3.2 to a 3.1. But 25 to 44 is a bizarre demo. That's just a strange. Is she ever going to bring that thing in here or what? Look at that. 25 to 44 in midday, 3.9 to a 5.5. Five. Oh! oh, my God. That means we're doing over a 6 from 10 to 2. Over a 6, George. How about if we make that the bonus? 3 to 7. Phil Henry, 25 to 44. It's uh, two nine to a three six, like up seven tenths of a point. The only problem we got there's something there at, at night. You know what I'm saying? Something there at night we can't put our finger on, but a lot of guys would like to. Yes, <laughs> yes. The worst talk radio I've ever heard in my life was on WIOD. So anyway, yeah, he didn't get a diary though. See, that's the good part. Larry don't get no diary, okay? Because they don't send out diaries to little old slameels with suspenders and a hunchback. They don't send them out diaries. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, how about, did she do, is there any demo at all that we can find here for the nighttime bitch, huh? Because she does have a great ass. I'm looking, I'm looking. Those weekends, boy, I'll tell you, we spell it here at WIOD. It's the only place in America we spell weekend with an A. We make it into a Canadian deal. So anyway, we're still waiting on the 25 to 54 if she'll ever bring those in here. There's a lady in Fort Lauderdale who's sick and tired of hearing about all these numbers. Hello. Good afternoon, Neil. Yes, ma'am. Did you read the Sun Sentinel yesterday letters to the editor? I glance at those every day to see if there's anything that's going to piss me off, but I don't recall anything particular. Well, before oh, there I was some, there was yesterday the one about the uh, idiot from Broward about the guys with the hockey sticks. Yes. Yes, I did see that. I am insulted. Isn't as that a hockey pathetic? Fan, and uh, I think ignorance is really rampant here in Fort Lauderdale. I'm reading in Psalm 68:22. It says, "Idiots who write stupid letters about hockey from Broward will burn in hell eternally." That's what it says right here. Well, I just had to call and. Talked to you about this. It had me so upset for two days here. Yeah, he don't want a bunch of guys with no teeth uh, with banging hockey sticks around. This guy wouldn't know a hockey puck if you slammed one up his butt, but let's try it anyway. Exactly. What a jerk. Well, thank you. And that's you. the kind of great letters the Sun Sentinel puts in there, okay? Okay. That's the, I'm sure they didn't get any other letters. That's the kind of garbage they put in there because they're so positive. Well, you know, when it says Broward Hicks don't like hockey, so that says it all right there. Yeah, speak for himself. That's it. Thanks, Neil. Okay. Right, bye. See ya. I say high stick the hick. What do you say to that? Oh! We have an open line in Broward, 5249463. Those 25 to 54 numbers will be coming in any second. Then we'll see what uh, side it's on. But the 18 to 34, how do you like that? This audience is getting younger and younger and younger. We got some living and breathing people out there. How do you like that? And if the Julios would just come out of the woodwork instead of that one nutcase up there, then we'd actually have a book. We'd be, a, we'd be kicking ass with everybody. And you know what it is that they like the most? It's those goddamn promos. That's what they like the most. I'm telling you. No, they like the contest. And the contest. Oh, I forgot. This was the book where he had the tragic trip. That's what put us over the top. <laughs> or no, this is the book where we finally cut it out. It's 11 past noon at WIOD. Oh, happy day. The Edwin Hawkins singers are singing, We Got a Kiss, Baby. That's for us here at WIOD. We've lost touch with the audience, but they love us in Beltsville, Maryland, Arbitron, and we got uh, some, good, some good luck, okay? Sooner or later, good things come to those who are managed by a Jew. Not only do we have Payphone Challenge, we have the startling confession of O.J. Simpson to Mercury Morris on the Thursday no. morning show. Yes, along with my night of love in Vanna's arms, a gay bombshell has bared all about Vanna White, the woman who once asked me out. She asked me out. Yipe. I didn't know that. Yes, she says, Rick, would you get out? Rick and Sud, 6 to 10 a.m. on News Talk and Entertainment Radio, 610 W.I.O.D. What's the question? I will not give it to you. What's the question? I will not give it to you. During his trial, O.J. Simpson desperately wanted to tell his story without being bothered by a little something called cross-examination. I would not, could not, and did not commit these crimes. Well, now, O.J. has finally found a way to come clean, a way that doesn't bother with ethics or common sense and can make a buck in the process. And if you order now, you'll receive this video with O.J.'s true story. Coming soon to a TV near you, O.J. Simpson's misinformercial. Could you tell us about your video, Juice? Oh, sure thing. It's me sitting in my backyard so nobody could be yelling things like murder at me, trying to worm my way back into the hearts of America. Sounds good. Let's give a listen. Oh, and those prosecutors, how could a woman who changes her hairstyle every day be telling the truth? Hard-hitting stuff, OJ. You bet, baby. And if you're watching my Miss Infomercial, pull out $29.95 for my video now. OJ Simpson's Miss Infomercial. If you were baffled by the verdict, wait till you try to figure out why anyone would buy this. So anyway, 1215 at WIOD. Rick Riley is so excited about these numbers. I just have never seen anything that vivid and that massive. I'll bet, especially in the morning. But anyway, look at this. 6 to 10 a.m., men 25 to 54. We, they don't have the overall, like uh, they're doing this piecemeal, and Cheryl keeps making up stories. 
because they're trying to figure out if we made the bonus or not. And then if we did, they're going to hide him and we will never get the number. Men 25 to 54 in the morning. Let's see. Howard's down. Oh, look at that. Howard's down from an 8.8 .8 to a 7.7. .7. Zetas from a 5-2 all the way up to a 6.5. I told you that Paul Castronovo was a talent, didn't I? Radio Amor. That's what WAMRFM is. That's uh, Oh, look at that. They went from a 1-3 as QBAFM to a 6.1. Look at that. They battered the crap out of Radio Romance. They're probably playing more Luis Miguel. Probably all the fags are listening. I mean, the uh, Maricones. I mean, the 6.1. And then fourth with a 5.5, Rick and Sun. Oh! Up from a 4.8 in men in the summer book where we just, uh, the spring and the summer just go into crapper. You know what I'm saying? But in the fall we make a big comeback because some of our people come back from out of town. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe our people just all go away to like those fun places like uh, Santo Domingo. Like uh, La Dominica or La Republica Dominica. And uh, Jamaica Mon and stuff like that. Anyway, WYOD in the morning, 5.5, and Howard's got a 7.7 in men. Looks like they're getting closer and closer every second. Maybe they don't like those 20-minute breaks that Howie's doing. Then from 10 to 3 in the midday in men, WIOD, number one, as we always are in men in the midday. I got my men, I'll tell you that. That's all I got, but I got my men. From a 6.9 in the summer book to a 9.4, which means between 10 and 2, we're over a 10. Oh! In men. It rhymes. It sounds good to me. Zeta is next. WXDJ, Hot, Kiss, Radio Romance. Now, I don't get that. How come in the morning, Amor is big, but they don't want to do it in the midday? <clears throat> How's that? Radio, Ro where the hell is it? Uh, it's not even, oh, it's like with a 3.6. So well, I guess, in, what do they got on in the morning? They got like people on there, like personalities, like celebrities, like Bo and uh, Mindy Bojangles or somebody like that. Oh, I'm sorry, they got fired at uh, power. Let's see, men 25 to 54 in the afternoon. Radio Romance uh, beats everybody to a pulp with a 6.1. That's when they start heavy duty Luis Miguel rotation. EDR a 5.8, hot 5.7. And the number one English language station in the afternoon in men with a 5.7 is the Phil Henry Show. Yeah, but... But nothing. No buts, baby. So it's safe to come in, Phil. The coast is clear. Nighttime, no. What are we going to do about that poor uh, sex broad? You know what I'm saying? In men, from a 4.5 down to a 4.2. Just, uh, just kind of like uh, fumbling along there. But that's, you know, that's okay, even though we can't sell that show. So there it is. We're still waiting on the 2554s, which is the only number I really care about. And George is like hanging out there with his tongue down to his puppet because we want to see if we really got uh, lucky big time and got a little bonus coming. But she don't want to bring that in here. She don't want to bring that in here because uh, all kinds of excuses, all kinds of stories. You know what I'm saying? There's all kinds of stories on the street. That's what Clemenza said. Look what it did for him, that fat Clemenza. We have two open lines in Broward, 524-WID. This is a day that everybody in the audience should be celebrating, dancing in their pants, all our loyal IOD listeners, both of them. Is that finally it? No. You miserable? It's not her fault, though. Thank you. But you are close and convenient, so it's easy to take it out on you. Oh, here's women. Well, we can kind of figure it out, can't we? I bet you we did a zero in women, huh? I... Oh, my God. Look at that. We got screwed. George, we got screwed. 1.6 in women. A what? 1.6. So that's an 11. But that, again, keep in mind, that's from uh, 10 to 3. So we could be right on the verge there. You know what I'm saying? We could be doing a 5.5. We're going to get screwed. You can just smell it. You can feel it. We're going to do about a 6, 25 to 54, thanks to the fact we got no women. We went down in women from a 2.5 to 1.6. See, the one time we get lucky, the one time we get a break, the one time we get a kiss, we get our big kisses from men, which is a hell of a lot better to me, but the women don't want to give us no kiss. I told you there's no women out there. We can't find a woman for love or money. Look at that. In the morning, we probably don't have any women either. I'm on a second page. I'm on a third page. I'm looking frantically for some women. Rick and Suds, a 1.9 down to a 1.3 in women. The women have let us down. Too much sports. That's okay. We're going to talk sports coming out your ears because the men want to hear sports. The men are macho. And probably the few women we got listening are pretty butch, too. Isn't that a kick in the teeth from a 2.5 in women? If we'd have just kept our 2.5, we'd have it licked, George. But a 1.6. And what about Phil in the afternoon? Those women have got to have a great sense of humor, right? They don't? Hot with an 8.0. Oh, they got all ethnic women. Phil's not on the second page either. 1-5 down to a 1-2. So we all went in a crapper with the women. Now, what about Erin, huh? Maybe she found herself a girlfriend. 7 to midnight. Erin Summer Show. QAM with a point four at night. Ho, ho, ho. Of course, that's women. 1.3. 
from a 1-7 to 1-3. So the entire radio station with the women disappeared. If we'd have had just, just, a, just a reasonable, our usual mediocre number of women, we would have kicked everybody's ass. If we just would have had our usual, reasonable, but we don't. Now, what else am I looking for? Who am I leaving out here? Oh, yeah, what about QAM? What about the men in the morning on QAM? Let's take a look for them. Overall, they went from a 3.0 oh! to a 2.7 in men. They're, that's the sports station. That's the male intensive station. Now, let's see. What about QAM in the morning? I don't see them on the first page here where the coast is on the bottom. I don't know. Oh, look at that. 3.2 to a 3.4, which uh, they went up like a fraction marginally, but they ain't the four they had back in the winter, but it's still a little bit better. So uh, the little dogs got the only number, and men there in the morning on that station. That's because they like that big gap in his teeth. What about in the middle of the day? 2.8 to a 3.9. Oh, the sports bitch. She's the one. Oh, that must be Lardass. I bet you that's what that is. Lardass must have finally found an audience. 2.8 to a 3.9. You know it's not the sports bitch. That's for damn sure. And like, uh, what else? Oh, no, wait a minute. What, what the hell? What, what? Oh, no, that's not right. That's not even it. 6 to 10. Bob Green has put 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. in here. Somebody go shoot him, will you? We don't care about 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. What about Joe the Rosemeister there in the morning, okay? 6 to 10, the little dog, the uh, guy with a big gap. 2-3 to a 2-4. I should have known better, okay? Now, what about 10 to 3 in the midday? Oh, this thing is all screwed up. This thing is all screwed up is what it is. 6 to 10 in the morning. Is this boring you folks? Too bad. We don't care. We don't care. You're used to it. QAM, 6 to 10 in the morning. Men, it's the sports station. Okay, I'm waiting to get to Hank. QAM in the morning. I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking here. Joe, I can't find your number, Joe. I don't uh, find it nowhere. Here it is. 2-8, that was right. 2-8 to a 3-9. Now, oh, that's in the morning. 2-8 to a 3-9. He's a hit. He's a hit. Andrew Ass in the woods and Joe Rose. Oh! 2-8 to a 3-9 in men. Now, in the midday, how come we can't find the midday with QAM? Are they still on the air or what? 2-3 to a 2-4. I see. That's what it is. So, Lardass didn't go nowhere and the sports bitch ain't doing nothing. And what about in the afternoon? Uh, now, let's see. Phil's got a 5-7 in men. What about uh, Fatso over there? What about Mr. Hotshot that's going to go on here and open him out today like he got a book? 5-1 to a 4-4. Phil beat him by like over a point. Huh? So that's uh, the way. That's the lay of the land. Boy, that was sure boring, wasn't it? And uh, she still hasn't brought in the 25 to 54, which it's going to be about a 5-4 to a 5-6, 10 to 3. We're like right on the edge. We're right on the borderline of greatness of like a few extra bucks in cash, but it'll never happen. They'll finagle it. You know how they do it. Talk at Entertainment Radio, 610 WIOD. O'Neill, my queen, God. <laughs> When they tan, they call me melanoma I tan until I'm almost in a coma Hawaii, Miami And they never ever use any sunscreen Sun with me, tan with me Hope you don't mind, I'm a little freckly We lie in the sun till we get melanoma We bake like a bun, you can smell the aroma Our lights are all on, but there's nobody home Network planning that when I get off I'll go tanning. I get naked and fake bake it. How much longer is my skin gonna take it? My astrologist and numerologist have to help me find a dermatologist. We lie in the sun till we get melanoma. We bake like a bun, you can smell the aroma. Our lights are all on, but there's nobody home. Hey, melanoma! We lie in the sun till we get melanoma. We bake like a bun, you can smell the aroma. We got lumps on our skin bigger than the metronoma. Hey, melanoma! We don't care if we get melanoma. We got the best tan from here to Arizona. We're glad we don't have genital condyloma. Hey, melanoma! 1228 at WIOD. So anyway, 25 to 54, there's that big uh, head-on match between what's-his-name. But the... Him and uh, Fat Hankster, the, the Hummer. And 25 to 54 persons overall, uh, Phil has got, what has he got? Oh, look at that. She went down at night, 3-4 to a 2-8, 25 to 54, the sex broad. Since they found, since she said that thing about being a lesbian, man, they have flown away from her like... So anyway, WIOD in the afternoon, 25 to 54, up from a 2-7 to a 3.4. Oh! And the Hummer, the hamster over there, he's got from a 2-6 down to a 2.3. So Phil beats the living pants off of him, as he should, but by a much bigger margin if this were accurate, which it is not. 
because anybody that would choose to listen to the Hummer over uh, Phil Henry and the ingenious stuff he's got on the air has to be a total moron or just like fat people. WYOD midday from a 4.1 to a 5.4 from 10 to 3, which means we're doing, we're pushing about a 6 from 10 to 2, which quite frankly, that ain't too shabby on this goddamn on an AM station with no promotion. You know what I'm saying? On this uh, staid place in which we work that don't have a billboard, a TV spot, a goddamn gerbil out there running around, nothing. So I think we ought to be pretty excited about that. And Rick and Spud even in the morning, which is really a miracle considering if you've heard that show. Rick and, sorry, Rick. Rick and Suds in the morning from a 2.8 to a 3.3, 25 to 54. Oh! Now, what is that? Did I give it to you, did I? What is it? It's a per Oh, you got more stuff here, boy. I'm telling you, 25 to 49. And if you keep coming up with enough different demos, see, I everybody... Have more. I have more. Oh, keep them coming, okay? It'll kill some real good time. Do you have 18 plus on the men and women? No, I don't. Uh, what do you mean? No, I don't. Separate? I don't. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. The women, by the way, sucked, and George said that's good. No. Oh, 18 plus. No, I don't have that. I got 12 plus. The women really bit the big one, twenty five fifty four. If we would have had just our usual two point whatever, we would have been just uh, raking in the dough. We would have kicked some ass, but we can't find women for love or money. Doesn't bother me. So anyway, twenty five to forty nine WIOD from a three two to a three. So this is this, see these oddball demos. Nobody cares about this. Even the people on the ear don't care about that. What about seventy five plus? What about the FTL audience? Can we find that one? See if you can find a hundred plus for Norm. Here's uh, Jupiter. Hello. Jupiter, speak to us. There's just some asshole in uh, Jupiter yanking it. Here's a lady in Miami. Hello. Neil. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon. How are you? Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Como esta? Muy bien, gracias. Ah. <laughs> Molto bene. Oh, I'm married to Julio. That's why I speak Spanish. All right. Oh. oh. He doesn't listen to Radio Amor or Radio Romance, does he? No, I make him listen to you. Good for you. And Phil Henry. Is he circumcised? No. How about Phil? I don't know. Do you know? If you ever saw, he looks like kind of a skinhead to me, but we'll find out. Okay, listen, I went to the hockey game last night. And? And my Gord Murphy, he played awesome. Your Gord Murphy? Yeah, how's yeah, he Gord Murphy is definitely our best defenseman, make no right. mistake about that. He is awesome. Solid as a rock. Yeah, I'm getting educated on my hockey, and I got a book, and I read about the Stanley Cup. Great. And um, originally it was bought in the 1890s by the governor of Canada for uh -huh. $50. Right. I don't know where it, he got it from. And, um, he, went, he went to the King of England, and he said, Blow me $50. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, there's some really cute legends in there, some guys that were celebrating with the, the, the cop and they had it in the trunk of their car, and they got a flat tire. So yeah. they took it out of their trunk, they put it on the side of the road, they fixed their tire, and they left, and they forgot to uh, take the cup, and when they came back, it was there. Yeah, Jim Manage told me one time he left his cup in the trunk and had the same kind of experience, and then put it on <laughs> right out there on goddamn I-95. <laughs> Oh, gosh. People were in shock. What can I tell you? Not much. Okay. So what are we going to do about finding some women, sweetheart? All these uh, well, women I'm are... I'm calling. I'm calling. I'm trying my best. I, I'm not just talking about you, though. We okay. have to have, like, more than a couple. we got to go out there and get some women with a sense of humor who aren't all watching those... T the one good thing for us is all the TV talking head shows are going off. Yeah, yeah. So the fact that uh, all these sleazy, that Danny Bona douchebag and all of that crap is going off, maybe some women will turn the radio back on, like, over to AM. Okay, hopefully. Please, put the word out, okay? Okay. Okay. And tell all those Juliet women out there, stop <laughs> cowering in the closet with their girlfriends. All righty. Thanks, sweetheart. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. We have two open lines in Dade. Yeah, if we could just ever tap that enormous closet Juliet and Julio audience we got out there, if we could ever bring them out of their little closets, those real macho cowards, man. Come out wherever you are, Julio. 751 WIOD in Dade. Palm Beach, which doesn't count in the book for Dade and Broward, thank God, is uh, dying over there. We don't have even no response. Even to say, hey, you guys are still on the air. You did great. We're real happy for you. Not even that. I bet you if I try to give away my Bon Jovi CD again these days, I bet you we could get a response on that. Three days. I did have one asshole yesterday call in the beginning of the show when we had no calls. I wasn't going to give nothing away when we had no action here. Are you dreaming? When we got a big audience alleged like this, and Steve Nichols running around saying, I told you, I told you, they like us, they love us, they want us. Yeah, he's uh, doing it. He is really doing it. See, most of his handiwork has been like at night and on the weekend. And I hate to break the news to you, but those are the day parts that are broken real bad and are way, way down, as in in the toilet. I mean, they're bad. They are real. They're not just weak. They're bad. They are brutal. You know what I'm talking about? No. So our person's 25 to 54 hot is right up there on top. Radio Romance. Uh, see, how we survive here, not only are we on AM, but we don't speak a Spanish and we don't got no uh, Afro. I mean, how the hell do we make it? 
Hot is number one, 25 to 54 in this market overall, followed by Radio Roman. Well, they're tied with a 6.8. Tied for number one. We got a, uh, a black one and a, and a uh, Hispanic one. Of course, Hot is right up the hall here, so they ought to be raking into bucks. EDR is right behind them with a 6.4, so there's another black station. So two of the top three stations in, Day- in Dayton Broward are black. How is that possible? How is it possible when only like 17% of the population or less than that is supposed to be black? How is it that they got everybody listening? Because they don't listen to nobody else? They all be listening to them? They must not be uh, surveying our 10 black people. Then Radio Amor is fourth, 5.1. So the top four stations are all black and Hispanic in this market. And we're supposed to compete. We're supposed to have a number. I think, quite frankly, what we've done here is a major miracle, and we want to give Steve Nickel all the credit that he deserves for it. <coughs> Add a voice, Steve. The coast is after that. So the co- look at that. We got hot is number one. The coast is number five, but they like uh, play, you know, English language speaking once in a while when they're not doing glory. Estefan, that bitch. They got a 4.8. And then WXDJ, I'm sure that's another uh, Julio station. That, that's that Russ Oasis thing where they change the call letters. It's some, I don't know what it is. And then Life, which is slush. And then Love 94, which is more slush and jazz. And then you have to come all the way down to Y100 with a 4.0. Oh, boy, oh, boy. The, the ethnicizing, they, they, you see, they did the census again in the fall. They do this every year, they, or every whatever, how many years. They redo the census, and then they readjust the ethnic thing, and they say, oh, there's no white people there that speak English in that county. And so then everybody gets screwed. Even Howard, look at this. Oh, no, that's not Howard. That's big. Boy, I'll tell you, once he goes off there, they might as well shut that station off. But anyway, W Big, 3.9, and then Kiss and uh, X, uh, MXJ. How's Sonny Fox doing, by the way, tomorrow? Let's see how Sonny's doing. How you doing, Sonny? Bottoms up, sweetheart. Sonny lost a lot of weight on the Atkins, by the way. Just thought I would mention that. Did he thank me publicly for it or what? WMXJ. Oh, 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 oh. What's been going on over there? They've been on a little slide over there at Magic, the only oldie station left on the dial. 3.8 down to a 3.2. I guess Sonny's not going to be sending me no check to say thank you for the Atkins. And it's a good thing he's on the Atkins. Although I tell you, eat no steaks and lobster, man. It puts a little uh, dent in the pocketbook. So somebody send a donation to Sonny Fox, okay, and tell him we're sorry about Salfus. 610 W-I-O-D. This is Joe Ball and the voice of the Toronto Maple Leafs. They don't come any better than Neil Rogers. He's the most respected voice in America today. His measured words and thoughtful commentaries have stirred a nation, changed the tides of political fortunes, and made him a pot full of money. He is Lush Limbaugh. Well, my courage alone uh, from Jack Daniels. Lush. Uh, Every day on this radio station, direct from the DIB network. That's drunks in broadcasting. <laughs> you can hear the kind of political rhetoric that makes you think. I think Clinton stinks, but I think his whole operation stinks. Lush Limbaugh, striking a nerve and scoring direct hits on all his political foes. The first lady is a feminine African. Uh, Nazi. She's a... Uh, not seen after <laughs> When you don't care about facts, when you just want to hear what you want to hear, listen to Lush. Okay, here comes my... Uh, oh, I thought you had a penny for me again. No, no, no. Come on, at least a quarter this time. It's the least you can do. Here comes my bonus for this book. What do you got? A little small change. 21 cents. All right. Oh! That's here for Bob Green. They don't come any more generous than Bob Green. So we lucked out again, huh? We got some uh, bogus diaries in there. Nice going, Bob. Anyway, t- uh, 1240 at WIOD. Everybody's happy around here, and people are out there saying, well, what are you getting all nervous about? A bunch of numbers. I got news for you, sweetheart. This is how we have to live. It's one hell of a ha- way to have to live, ain't it? When the top 75 stations are stations that have either got people that can't speak English or are extremely been out in the sun for a long time. You know what I'm saying? That's the top 85 stations in this goddamn market, and there's only like 35, so where the hell do we belong? And we still managed to squeeze in there somehow. We still managed to overcome the goddamn smoke this show. How do you like that? And those Toys for Goyim show we got on the weekend. Which, by the way, is going to go down on the Davy Gravy lines on the light bulb going head to head. Pretty heavy duty competition over there. Of course, he's got his own equipment to bring on there. But that's another story. Anyway, 1241 at WIOD. Let's do a mobile in the sunrise. Hello. Good morning, Neil Rogers. Good afternoon, sir. Oh, buenas tardes. And back to you. I Buona saw you all the way from West Palm Beach, and I already made it to the prize. Isn't that great? You did what? 
I told you when I was in West Palm. Yeah, and you made it. West Palm Beach, and, and you I made, made it all the way to Sunrise. Well, you're making some serious progress. Wait till you get down here to Miami, man. <laughs> get your piece out. Well, the reason I call you is to say hi, and I wanted to congratulate the Miami Dolphins fan on their new coach. I tried last week, but you must have been very busy. Yeah. We're not and, talking uh, about That's old news here. We're talking about congratulating Neil and Phil and Rick and everybody at WYD except for Aaron about their great ratings book. That's what we're talking about today. We don't care about Jimmy Johnson. He's uh, old news now. All right. When he so starts, win- when he starts winning, pass, huh? when he starts winning a few games, that's what we'll say. Hats off to Jimmy. Okay. Okay, that's a good deal. Okay, pal. Uh, I'll see you on the I'm 50 on. yard line. Get a new phone. You sound like you're Lloyd Bridges. We have two open lines on the green lines. I'm getting my season tickets renewed right now. I have renewed energy and faith in life now that we got a lucky kiss finally. We've been going along since like almost a year now. We've been dragging it and dragging it and dragging it. Everybody's been getting suicidal and getting depressed and taking all kinds of mind-altering substances here and doing Milltowns and Prozacs and goddamn two-and-alls because, God Almighty, how the hell are we ever going to make it, especially with you deadheads out there? And we're trying somehow to measure, are we still alive? Do we still have a goddamn life here? Have we been totally cut off from this stupid audience? Underline the stupid part. Here's the last, what is it, men 18 plus? Yes. Uh, we got, yes. yes it is. We are, look at that, whoo! We're like right up there with the Radio Romance, okay? Only they got Luis Miguel, that's the one we want. They're on top, thanks, Euro, with a 5.8. We're number two in men with a 5.6. Of course, the Dolphins in here again, see? The Dolphins, that must be what put us over the top. Let's see how the weekend men 18 plus looks, okay? And find out if it's really just a bogus thing with those stupid Dolphin games, huh? Because we know that Bill Zimfer and Jimmy Demandwich, that's what uh, really puts us on top, huh? I bet we're like number one on the weekend. I bet we're kicking ass, huh? We're not? I don't see us on the first page. With the Dolphins? Oh, my God, we went down? <laughs> oh! Okay, for all you hot shots out there that are plotting how you're going to get the Dolphin games away from us after this upcoming season, I hate to break the news to you, but WIOD went from a 3.1 to a 3.0 oh! on a weekend in men, 18 plus men. That's like the Dolphin audience. How do you like that? We went this big, gigantic increase in men, and it's uh, not from the Dolphins. <laughs> yeah, pretty funny. Of course, if you ever heard Zimford do a game, you'd understand they want to watch it on TV instead. They'd rather hear almost anybody, even Dick Stockton, do the game instead of listening to Zimfer. So anyway, how are we doing, man, 18-plus, like in the morning? I bet you Rick and Suds are just pulverizing the crap out of everybody. I knew they could do it. And I really didn't, to be honest with you. I was kind of like uh, hedging my bets. Well, you know, they were really nervous, and Rick was getting ready to leave. Okay, oh, Howard with the 5.9. But you know something, Howard? You're still like, uh, you're like a point behind last summer, Howard. What's going on over there? And that length of listenership is a little on the weak side. And Rick and Suds, I'll be honest with you, if Rick and Suds had his length of listenership, they would, like, be right up there with him. He's got a 5'9", they got a 4'8". They're, like, number five in men in the morning, 18 plus. Who could be number one in men in the midday, George? How many guesses do we need? Uh, okay, we went from a 7'9 to an 8'9". Men, 18 plus. Which means over 65, we don't have too many old farts listening. And what about, what about the mad dog there, the uh, big dog? What is it, the little dog? Men 18 plus, Rick and Suds in the morning of a 4.8. Now, what about the little dog over there, QAM? He must have a gigantic number in men, huh? He must have about a 20. He's got, oh, a 3.5, which is up. That's, I'll tell you, that's pretty good for them. That's the biggest number they've had. The little dog continues growing and growing and growing. And if you ever feel that gap in his tooth, he might have an audience over there, goddammit. And especially since that brilliant Andrew Woods has been on there talking about who's got the biggest hooters in town. They're really growing big. I mean, the audience. Now, let's see about from 7 o'clock to midnight. And, of course, Hank, you see, one thing that kills me about Fat Hank, you know how he always comes on the air and tries to defend the fact he knows nothing about hockey and it's boring and nobody cares, and anybody who talks about it, it's a tune-out? How did we all do all these big numbers? Because nobody talks about it more than I do. Do you know what I'm saying? How did I do all these gigantic numbers since I'm Mr. Hockey Puckface, huh? How did I do such a number, Hank? Since that's one of the main interests that I got, one of the greatest things in the history of mankind, and just because you're a dummy and a lazy slob and don't want to learn about it, how come uh, we did so well with all the hockey talk? The Leafs have scored two goals with six attackers on the ice this year. At the point, Gill a shot, rebounded from down is Balfour. Another shot, the goal! Oh! Dave Andrachuk ties this game at three. Too much hockey talk, baby. It's killing me, Hank. All right, the Penguins again on the power oh, play, and the guy. turkey back on the table, and it's moved back to center. Turkey's Lynn on the Barry's going to throw it over to Wolf Samuelson. Samuelson and Lynn Barry working the uh, points. Francis digging for the puck, moves into the fire zone. McCabe's trying to slow him down, goes all the way to the far right-wing corner to, to Yarmer Yager. And 
at the right point area of Samuelson. Gives the puck to Yager right down the lane. Here he comes. That Stevens over goes to Francis instead of Stevens. He shoots and scores. Kevin Stevens on the power play. And the Penguins lead three to one. Oh, scratch my back with a hacksaw. <laughs> That was funny. Yeah, too bad you don't know what it's all about. 12.46 at WIOD. We got the two lines and the green lines in Palm Beach. You people should be ecstatic, baby. You should be calling here and shaking my hand and saying, thank God we're talking to a real ballsy guy there that got a good book finally. After all this time that was on the verge of extinction. After 20 goddamn years in this town, and he's still alive. And he's still got the numbers over there in spite of all those Farbis and Agoyim who don't like us. Too bad. 1-800-944-9463. Even our good, close, personal friends up there in Palm Beach who allegedly are so involved and care so much, even they don't extend their hand of friendship. How do you like that? Do they offer you a friendship? Do they ever invite us to their house for a cup of coffee? No. Instead, they come to my house on the day of the goddamn fall book coming out and ask me to be a goddamn murderer. Okay, 1250 at WIOD. We got the uh, green lines are still... Look at that. We're still waiting for you to call off and say congratulations. We love WIOD. We're happy for you guys. It's about time you got a little bit of relief and a little bit of uh, something. Nothing. So let me just tell you this right now, and I mark this down on the calendar. Anybody in Palm Beach ever on days we give away like those uh, adult videos or anything we ever give away, ever, if we finally get a million dollars from the sisters in cash to give away, if you're in Palm Beach, forget it. No chance. Mark that right down in uh, solid gold. Here's Miami. Hello. Hey, congratulations, Neil. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. You deserve it. Muchas gracias, amigo. You and Phil, can you do me a big favor? Yeah. My wife is very sick, and she wants to hear the Dolphin song. What do you mean she's very sick? Well, she has that, that uh, flu thing. She's got the trots? Yeah. Yeah. And all she wants is just to hear the Brian Cox song. Oh, Debra, I thought you meant the Dolphins fight song. That was no. going to give me... <laughs> oh, I thought you... Now you're talking about something entertaining that we might all enjoy, huh? When you get a chance before today, though. Like now would be good? Thanks a lot. Is that soon enough? Thank you, buddy. Okay, hope she's feeling better, sweetheart. Thank you. Okay. Rude, obnoxious, foul, and distasteful. The dolphins are cursing, and man, it's disgraceful. Cause Brian Cox and the rest of them are saying, Suck my d Lick my f shit on you, mother f Words of love they toss in the microphone The dump button just can't seem to be left alone And all of this is because they like saying Suck my d lick my f shit on you, mother f Oh, but they play football badly How do you say that? How did the Patriots kick their ass? Look, my d When will they make it to the Super Bowl? But with an attitude as bad as theirs, Say what? they're tossing our hopes down the stairs. Oh, man. Rude, obnoxious, foul, and distasteful. The dolphins are cursing, and man, it's disgraceful. Because Brian Cox and the rest of them are saying, Suck my d lick my balls, shit on you. Yes, they're saying, Suck my d lick my balls, mother. Oh, they're saying, Suck my d lick my balls. Now, what kind of a disgusting triple uh, X rated scene is this on a young and a horny we're watching right now? It's too bad they're both so ugly. You know what I'm saying? What kind of a scene is this? And she throws her head back. She said, Danny never had nothing like that. In fact, Danny never had nothing, but that's another story. What do you expect from her? So, anyway, here's a Plantation. Hello. Hello, Neil. Yes, sir. Congratulations to your rating. Thank you so much. You know, is this Sonny uh, Fox? What? You sound like Sonny Fox. Not. A little incoherent. It's your, it's your dish friend in Plantation that uh, you talked into one dish, and I'm probably going to get a second one and keep, keeps on going. All right. Fighting the city. Anyways, uh, you know, this ratings thing reminds me of Wall Street. It's a jitter, isn't it? Right. It That's right, and, and you have and, and you have no control. You have no control, no matter how good of a job you think you're doing, no matter how hard you work at it, no matter how much energy you put into what you're doing. It's just uh, it's the luck of the draw. You know, whoever happens to get the diaries and whatever mood they're in, and if they care enough to fill it out, and if they get them in the right zip codes and people that like speak the same language, and especially in this market where it is so ethnicized now that you can't find like 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 I like I've said, when you get in your car, maybe you've done this, and you're driving around, especially on the highway on the turnpike. And you look around at the people in the other cars, and I say to myself, that's there's that. no way they're listening to WIOD. There's well, no way. They, like, nothing. You know what I'm saying? Well, 
Well, I understand exactly what you're saying. Uh, you know, it's a hysteria. It's like like the earnings report coming in on Wall Street. Right. You know? That's right. And then it goes, the, the thing, index goes up and the index goes so down. So it's just a matter of luck. You, you just analysts. sit back and waiting for the luck of the draw. That's it. Remember, you've got the analysts that are out there. Right. That will tell you whether your rating is good. By the way, and that was only one short subject, and I'm going to keep it short. Please. How about, yes, please, I know. How about relocating the studios from, uh, instead of to going to Hollywood... Right at the Sawgrass, right next to the yeah. new hockey arena. Well, there is one good... No, that's, uh, that's the arena. I'm talking about the uh, WIOD studio. We took, put one into Roma and one into Amsterdam. There you go. How's that? Beautiful. You got your passport ready? I, I always have mine ready. Let's and the go. passport, too. Have a nice day. Okay, see ya. Well, bye-bye. We have an open line in Broward, 524. The Green Lines, how about if we gave you $1,000 a piece in Palm Beach to call in and say congratulations, guys, even if you don't mean it, okay? How about if we gave you $5,000 to call in in Palm Beach? See, we don't got nobody up there. You Boca people are a bunch of clowns, man. Even that one guy, I don't want to mention his name on the air, that sends us all the faxes that's, uh, you know. We don't, don't Listen, don't go out of your way to call us, okay? Our good, close, personal friend up there, right. He should be having a party in his pants right now, okay? Because one more bad book, one more bad trend, and, man, you'd be hearing Hungarian mazurkas on the air here like tomorrow. I guarantee you that. They were starting to clean out some of the orifices around here. Why do you think they had that mess downstairs this morning Rick was talking about, huh? So here's uh, Pembroke Pines. Wait a minute. Like I said, here it is. Hello. Neil. Yes, sir. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. Congratulations on your good rating. Thank you so much. We finally uh, got the luck of the draw, man. Hey, let me tell you. We they got should, the luck of the Jewish. They should be happy to have you. Let me tell you. They are. Listen, uh, um, I wanted to uh, ask you. I'm, I'm interested in getting one of your tapes. Yes. Uh, how do I go about doing that? Do I get it from you, your company there, or your, your radio show, or do I have to go to a store and get it? You can go to Borders. You can just sit there on your ass and call 561-0078, and they'll mail it out to you. 561-0078? Right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get one of those. All right. All right, pal? Have a great life, sir. Have a happy. And back to you. Bye-bye. There's a guy that sounds pretty happy. He's, like, enthusiastic. He likes us. He's just uh, got no problems. He doesn't have no uh, clever little punch. You know what I'm saying? Just a good guy out there that sounds like his brain is bigger than his penis, okay? That's a good move in the right direction, man. We just had a few more like that instead of that guy that calls before about, you know, that pasture that uh, Phil had on yesterday, that pasture? Yeah, Louis Pasture? Is that the one you're talking about? Like the day that uh, Phil was, you know, talking about his Jimmy John, was Don Shula more important than Enrico Fermi and Louis Pasteur and Jonas B. Salk? And these people are calling and saying, huh? Say what? Who? I mean, what? Seriously, how stupid? I've always asked a question, you know, about people with money like Wayne. How much do you need? Which I noticed Defoe was stealing that line to get on Sports Talk last night. Cut the crap, will you, Defoe? Let's see what your number is, sweetheart. But the same thing is true here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how, how much stupidity is enough? How dumb can people get before they're satisfied at their level of stupidity? How ignorant is it possible to be before you're like, uh, you know, quen you're, you're like quenched with ignorance and you're like desiring some kind of knowledge? See, people who want to learn something, they like either go into a computer or they read a book or a newspaper or a magazine, you know? You know? And, of course, nobody does that anymore. Unless, of course, the book is like one of those stupid novels or one of those stupid romance novels that the women are all reading. Oh, that's where it's at. They're so romantic. Yeah. Here's North Miami Beach on a purple line. Hello. Hello, sir. How yes, sir. You? I'm doing great. All right. Well, congratulations. We on survived your another one, sir. We survived and we dodged the bullet again. Oh, let me. And you know what? It's amazing. This town doesn't even deserve you guys. I that's mean, right. You guys great entertainment for us. Yep. And the price is right. And the price is absolutely right. Yes. Uh. I'm not sure where I fit demographically on you. I'm a 32-year-old Latin male. All right. Perfect. And, uh, Perfecto, and man. You, you're just what we're looking for. And I'll tell you, my wife uh, also listens to your show, even though she's a closet Neely, but uh, I know she listens to your show. I'm trying to push her out of there. To, what is her uh, name? Her name is Zuli. Zulu? No, no, no. Zuli. <laughs> Zuli. Yeah. Come out wherever you are, Zuli. Come out, and, sweetheart. And, uh, At least stick one of those things out of the door, you know, and uh, open that closet. Force it open, honey. Yeah, I wanted to ask you a question. On the uh, Boar's Head Deli meat, yes. is the ham the only one that's nitrite-free, or are there any other meats that are uh, nitrite-free? Oh, good question. I don't know. That, you, have to, you have to get a look on the label. All right, uh, that's, all, that's at Lorenzo's, right? Because I know I've tried... Uh, right. Uh, I'll, tell you, I'll yeah. tell you what you'll love is the sausage at Lorenzo's with no nitrites. You'll love that. Okay, well, I'll try that. Heavy-duty stuff. And another thing, uh, we recently bought a icebreaker package right. for the Panther game. Great. We, we had a blast. 
Uh, I did try to look for you, though. Uh, what section do you sit in the arena? 125. 125. And yep. how about the uh, at JRS for the Dolphin games? What section? Yeah. No, oh, I don't even remember. It's, um... Oh, I, I, I know I, you always say it's by the 50-yard line. It is but, right on the know. 50, but I, I can't, because I wasn't there last season, so I didn't remember what the number was. Fat Rich oh, will let me know. Okay. Fa fatty, uh, fat Boy will let me know. Oh, all right. All right. Well, uh, if you, whenever you find out, you announce it then. All right. My battery's dying. I'm running out of material. Okay. So thanks again, Neil. And have a great life. You too. And sir. happy Ojo de Ano. All right. Thank See ya. you, too. We have an open line and a purple line. Pound idea. What are you laughing about, George? Let's celebrate. Let's have a party. Oh! I'm going to Mommy's for lunch. We're going to have a party on the table there. We're going to light the goddamn Hanukkah lights, even though it's the wrong time of the year. We're going to get some goddamn carbohydrate-free homentaschen from Schloimi's. Sometimes you get so mad, you just want to spit. WIOD, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Boy. News, talk, and entertainment radio. 610 WIOD. Pompano residents say stick them in the desert and uh, don't give them a map. Good afternoon at 1 o'clock. This is Jennifer Rem. News, talk, and entertainment. Radio 610 WIOD. It's not just the one to two hour. It's a phenomenon. Hideo. He's Hideo. No more peach and they don't come home. No. He's he day, he's he day, he's he day, oh. Crazy motion, but he hit the strike zone. Oh! He throw fast like a Randy Johnson. No more pitch and the batter's drawn. Knock him dead like Charlie Bronson. No more pitch and they don't come home. Japanese no. phenomenon come across the water. No more peach and the batter's grown. Lot of fun for Dodger fan, happy Tom Lasorda. No more peach and they don't come home. It's one strike, two strike, three strike, oh! No one peach when he's in the zone. One strike, two strike, three strike, oh! No more peach. And they don't come home. Hey, he's hidden. No more pitch, and they don't come home. Hey, he's hidden. He's hidden. He's hidden. No more pitch, and they don't come home. No, no more pitch, and they, they don't come home. home. No. 107 at WIOD. But I'm just going to put that on an endless loop. I love that. How's Harry Belafonte doing, by the way? How's his lovely daughter? We have two open lines on the green lines where indifference is their middle name. We're picking their noses, their uh, claim to fame. That's what it's all about. 1 800 944 9463. Our center one total is 138,082 bucks. I bet you tomorrow is when that big swell of mail is going to come in here. The groundswell is going to begin, and people are going to start sending those $20 checks made out to center one to Neil Rogers, WIOD Miami 33141. And put a nice little note in there, too. Say, thank you, Neil, for 20 years of scintillating broadcasting, you fat slob you. Something like that would be good. You can call Center One and order your best of CDs and cassettes and T-shirts still, like for the next two weeks through the end of January, at 561-0078. And you can also pop into your Borders, Books, Music, and Cafe stores. And please go by the one in the Grove, will you please, and buy some stuff? Show us that we're loved in the Grove. God. Here's a lady in North Miami. Hello. Hi, Neil. How you doing? I'm fine. I just called to say congratulations. Well, thanks a lot. And I really, really If we just really had some women. If we well, just had some women. Uh, well, I mean, I, I hate sports, but yeah. I love you, and I think you're mm. just great. Yeah. And I listen to you every day. I never miss Phil Hendry. Right. And I came Penalty down to death. see it at Aventura, and I'm going to buy the CD because I want to help you get that that money up for sure. Great. We need, we need about 50000 more like you. Well, I, I'm telling you, I don't understand why the numbers say what they are because everybody I know we all listen to you and we just think you're great you and Phil are the best that's right and uh, you know and then people of course do then there's always Rick and Sud. now what is it people really do appreciate you do they yes well they sure have a strange way of showing it well do you know what I'm saying this is a time where they love you but they like uh, they sit around they don't want to tell you well that's <laughs> Miami <laughs> yeah they're, they're like a little indifferent you know yeah but well I don't know about they everybody love you else quietly. but I really do think you're great they and just I think need you're a doing passion. a great job okay sweetheart all right thank you have a great day bye she was nice we have an open line in day 751 she was she was very nice which is unusual here 
She wasn't even driving 30 miles an hour in front of me on her way to the hockey game. <clears throat> yeah, but don't talk that hockey talk. Now, let's see. Let's see what I got in. <clears throat> Remember that one book Hank said, oh, yeah, I almost got as many men as Neil. Well, we don't want to get too personal, Hank. But anyway, <coughs> where's the men like, uh, where's that men thing? Where's the man, the man thing? Men, 18 plus. Here we go. Now, what do we have? What do we have there? We got, oh, that's men 18 plus. What about 12 plus? How the hell is that possible? What, what, what was that number? Oh, 25, 54. Okay. Men 25 to 54. That's the... 9-4. Uh, I beg your pardon? It was a 9-4. Yeah, but I don't know what he's got. A 9-4 from 10 to 3, which means we're doing about a 10, between a 10-2 and a 10-5. Between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. See, the day part is 10 to 3. But between 10 and 2, we're doing over a 10 share in men. Now, what's Fatso got over there in the afternoon? It's always talking about uh, he's got always oh, doing this, he's doing that. Who the hell are you kidding, Hummer? A 4-4? Four, four? That don't sound like even half. And it don't sound like anywhere near the 5-7 that Phil has got, which is like uh, uh, 1.3 higher and rising every day as more people are finding out that's where the entertainment and the humor and the fun stuff is as opposed to the pompous bullcrap of the uh, bogus predictions. So eat your parts out, Humster. Here's another lady in Miami. Hello. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Hi. I just want to congratulate you. Well, thank you so much. I want to tell you that I love your show. Mm -hmm. And my boyfriend got me involved in it because he listens to you all the time because he's Does a driver. He? Are you jealous? No. Good. I'm not. I think I could handle it. I'm probably not his type anyway. You don't think so? You his, never know. His boyfriends are probably younger. No, maybe not. You know what they say. Yeah, you, you never know. Anyway, maybe he's I into just... old guys. I just wanted to tell you that I love your show. I think it's great. And well, I mean, thanks, sweetheart. Before I used to listen to this 101.5 crap, and it just, oh, just make me sleep. Man, that'll give you, like, hemorrhoids. Yeah, something like that. But now I'm, like, awake, and and I need, I mean, uh, great. I love it. Beautiful. And I congratulate you. Well, thank you, sweetheart. You have a good one. Hasta que old meet us. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Open line of Dade, 751. <laughs> the cigar. I think that cigar day from that uh, snort this show... I think he sent me a doctored cigar there, man. I'm choking and gagging on that thing. I'm throwing that thing out. I'm making a resolution right now. You know something? Everybody I know in my lifetime who smoked a lot of cigars, they're all dead. Right? Every, look at Winston Churchill. Dead. My good George friend. Burns. Who? George, George Burns. Burns. Close. Real close. Like right on the cusp. Couldn't even make that uh, birthday party the other day. A hundred years old. They couldn't get that old fart out of the sack. My good, close, great friend Alan Finkelson smoked cigars every day of his adult life. Dead. Cancer. Everybody who smokes cigars... I want, I want to go in here and say this right now. This is going out on a limb, okay? I don't like generalizing, but I'm going to tell you this right now. Everybody... And I don't want to get that Cigar Dave upset because that's a great show we got. <laughs> Everyone who smokes cigars will die. Uh-uh. Yep. Not me. That's what it says in the good book. It says that in Leviticus chapter 3, everybody who puts that big round one in his puss will die. Unless it's a have a Tampa. 12 minutes after 1 at WIOD. The Weekend Magazine has changed. New hosts, new segments, new stories, oh, new hey. times. 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Saturday and Sunday mornings. Who's the host this weekend? We don't know. Oh, hey. The Weekend Magazine on News Talk and Entertainment Radio, 610 WIOD. Hi, this is Sonny Fox, and I listen to Neil Rogers because I can hear the word asshole. Ladies, Ladies and, and gentlemen, gentlemen please, please welcome, welcome the two newest New York, New York Yankees, Yankees Daryl Strawberry and, and Doc, Doc Gooden, Gooden. And, and their, their personal, personal coach, coach, Steve Howe. Howe. That's what I'd like to know. Doc Gooden's in the wind-up. The straw man snorts the line-up. He's drooling like a dog who heard a bell. He's high as a lab rat from smoking the crack of the bat. He doesn't like cocaine, just likes the way it smells. Snorting eight balls, Daryl's rolling up a 20. Snorting eight balls, and he's giving good and plenty. They lick the $20 bill. Their teeth are grinding like a pepper mill. Doing eight balls. Oh! Out 
alcohol and pills. Jeez, these guys. Steve Howe is in the bullpen. His nostrils are wide open. He's so f***ed up, he thinks he's on the Braves. He gets advice from Doc, and Doc prescribes some rock. So first he blew a line, and then he blew the save. Snort and A-Boss, they abuse the magic powder. Snort and A-Boss, sprinkle it on their clam chowder. Prescriptions got perpetual refill. They do it in the pool if they had gills. Doing A-Boss. Oh! Alcohol and pills. All that money. Eight balls, alcohol and pills. I'd like to welcome you all aboard. This is your manager, Buck. Hi, Buck. 118 at WID. Buck be gone, by the way, but hey, they don't know it. So I'm looking at uh, the little dog there in the morning at that 2.25 oh! to 54, and I begin to realize I'm looking at the uh, average quarter hour is actually down 200, and the cum is like down like 9,000. So they got a little kiss there in men, but generally speaking, little dog, you just, uh, you're not whipping enough. You're just uh, not whipping them into shape. Probably that Andrew Woods that's putting them over the top. And if they could just get a few more pimply-faced kids. And who is that goon that sits there with a humster in the afternoon that they brought in from ESPN that keeps talking back and forth? That, to me, seriously, Hummer, you're killing yourself with this guy. It sounds like, it sounds like light bulb radio. It sounds like uh, what they do on a light bulb where they sit and play goosey-goosey with little kitty board ops uh, back and forth. I mean, that is just... I mean, the guy is like on mic. It's like they're doing a two-man, uh, a five-man show. Hank and this other guy. He's killing you, Hummer. Let's... Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Congratulations. I'm Thanks, upset. Greg from Boynton Beach. No, I'm upset now because I just had a talk with uh, George off the air. Listen, can I say something to you? I'm not like George's ventriloquist, okay? Right. So whatever you talk to George about, keep that between you and George. But now you and I are on the air. I'm on, on a very important, highly rated radio show. Exactly. And I expect you to conduct yourself and behave, you know, in a certain uh, decorum here, uh, like, a, like an adult. Whatever little problems you got with George, I'm sure you guys can work it out if you know no, where to gather my No, it doesn't drift. have anything to do with George. It had to do with you. It does? And I, he's telling me that you really... I mean, I haven't called your show. I haven't been bothering you. Yeah. And you guys well, you're have... So, see, now you're quetching again. You sound like a misfit when you go into this routine. Well, you had some... You Instead haven't... of when you call one of those snappy little songs or something clever and unique and useful, now you sounded like you're regressing into that quetch dicky Greg routine again. Well, I was again. in a good mood until I talked to George. Well, I am too every day. Melissa Ruggieri. How'd you, like, how'd you like to have to work here? I, I yeah, what's find Melissa Ruggieri going to have to say now that we went through the roof, especially on this show, you disgusting bitch? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She better, once she gets those ratings, she better say something good or I'm going to burn that building down. And it looks to me like Howard's got a 5, 6, 25, 54 in the morning. And between 10 and 2, when we extrapolate it, we're going to have about a 6, which means between 10 and 11. I wouldn't be surprised in the least bit if we beat the pants off of him again as we have every month, every trend going on now for like a year and a half. How can we do some investigating on the, uh, you know, the ethnic stations? You talk about there's only, what's the percentage of the uh, ethnic audience? 1%. We're There's only one tenth of one percent Hispanic and uh, black in Dayton Broward. It has to be some type. There's of only scam. sixteen people that are Latin and black. There's a scam going on, and someone's got to get to the bottom of it. Right, you're the guy to do it, pal. I am. Okay. Listen. Get on it. N no. <laughs> or get off it. Uh, you mentioned. Get with it. You mentioned a couple weeks ago CBS, and I and I, w I don't want to call too much, but I had to save this up. <laughs> who? who? <laughs> you see, I got to save stuff. George, up. he said he doesn't want to call too much. Yeah. Right. CB, who, I, I've never had CBS on my TV. I don't know anybody that listens to that, watches that station. I mean, when you got shows like Murphy Brown and uh, what's uh, that other old bitch that's on there? That, that's awful, that, that channel. Mary Tyler Moore. I don't know what the hell she, she must be because they always have her on CBS this morning, so that stiff shower is must have been on CBS. Oh, I listened to the Curse team this morning. Yeah. Uh, Joe Rose had a... The, no, it's the Hearst team. <laughs> He had a uh, Niedermeyer on there again. Oh, did he? And he's still looking for sheep in the no, woods? No, no, he's Now he's trying to set up for Ed Jovanowski. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're yeah hanging, sure they're Big Eddie buddies. really needs, uh, he needs uh, that guy with a, with a big gap in his teeth. He needs his, his help getting laid, I'm sure of that. I hope Jovanowski comes by with that stick and just gives him a good elbow to the puss and shuts his puss up for once. 
No, the so pa- we'll see you, Greg. No, the passion lady yes. at the end night. You yeah. Know, she should fill. Now that Don's got some time on his hands, maybe he could fill and boost that number a little bit. That's a good idea. And congratulations, idea. Neil. Okay, see you, Greg. See you. Get out of here. <sighs> okay, three months. We have an open line and a green line, 1-800-944-WIOD. It's 122 at your very successful and famous station where we keep bouncing back like Bobby V in a rubber ball. Let's hear it. Come on, Bobby. And Phil Henry says, Bobby V sucks. Now, how do you like that? Phil, you're a brilliant guy, but some things you just don't know. You don't know your Bobby V. You don't know your rubber ball. And the night has a thousand eyes. You know, when you're hungry, when you're jonesing for the best in seafood and shellfish and pasta, there's only one place you need to think about. That's shells, of course. You'll want to try shell shrimp pasta. That's a bowl full of sweet, tender shrimp sautéed with linguine and a pasta cream sauce with just a hint of garlic. Or shell seafood pasta. It's a bowl full of scallops, mussel, shrimp, and clams with linguine in shell's fabulous pasta cream sauce. If you tried shell shrimp primavera yet, it's the perfect light taste as shells mixes garden fresh vegetables with imported pasta shells and sautés them in a shell's pasta a cream sauce with a hint of garlic. There's always the Shell's traditional shrimp and cheese tortellini, a heaping, gigantic, humongous portion of shrimp mixed with tortellini, stuffed with a blend of Italian cheese and spices, sautéed in Shell's pasta sauce. It is mouth-watering. It's incredible. There are over 14 different Shell fish and seafood pastas, so when you're in a mood for great casual seafood, it's Shell's. You'll find a Shell's in Kendall, 117th and Sunset, in the TJ Maxx Plaza, or in Sunrays, University Drive, just north of Sunrise Boulevard, right in uh, our neck of the woods.